In August 2008, Netflix experienced a major database corruption and could not ship DVDs for three days. This was the stimulus which made Netflix opting to host their business logic on the cloud. I think in future we should move to cloud as our customer base is increasing drastically. That's a great idea. It's awesome. Netflix systems, including all customer facing services, were migrated to Amazon Cloud. It took seven years for this migration. This was the time when Netflix moved from its monotholic architecture to AWS microservice architecture. Hey there. Here are a few systems which are the backbone of Netflix architecture. I will be covering these in respective videos in detail. These are Netflix Cosmos. It is a platform for workflow driven microservices. Nice DCV. Netflix uses it on AWS to build VFX. Netflix uses gRPC along with protocol buffers. Studio Edge is a standalone DGS GraphQL service. Open Connect is the content delivery network of Netflix. Recommendations Algorithm is the oldest and the most advanced system which Netflix has built to analyze user data. Netflix Annotations is a piece of metadata which can be attached to any object to describe it. Netflix uses Kafka for distributed streaming. Apache Druid is a high performance real time analytics database. Hey there! Hope you liked the video. Please comment and like if this was helpful. In coming videos, we will be covering all the systems in detail. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.